Hey folks, Daily Lands Blog, September the 1st, 2019. Uh, this is part two of uh, chatting with Paul LaBerge, who uh, tragically lost his father to suicide about a year ago. And he has committed himself um, for his own recovery, but also for the benefit of educating other people and, uh, and just creating dialogue to walk between uh, Saskatoon and Lloydminster, Alberta, which is, uh, by the way, Paul, uh, thank you for joining us again. How, what's the total distance? Two hundred and seventy-nine kilometers in six days. Now, I, I, I mean, we don't see you right now, but uh, I mean, you sent me some pictures of you. You look like you're, you're, you know, like you're pretty athletic, correct? Yeah, yeah. I uh, so before the walk, I was two hundred two pounds, seventeen percent uh, body fat, uh, thirty-four inch waist. Uh, the last time I checked, right before the walk started, I was one hundred eighty-seven pounds, ten percent body fat. And I dropped down to 31 um, inch waist. Wow, that was more more details perhaps than I thought we would get. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, the word suicide is it's just not talked about, and that's one of the things that that we kind of commit ourselves to doing is just creating dialogue. Do you feel like like you can um, and how do people approach you when it comes to um, the fact that your dad obviously died um, by suicide? Do you feel like they treat you differently as opposed to if your dad had died of cancer or in a car accident or something like that? Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, at first, it was very difficult because a lot of people, they know what to say to me. They just kind of just, you know, stand from a distance, kind of give me the odd, awkward smile. And then there's some tell who has been attacked by it they just came and just give me a hug and they start crying and there's you know the just like there's three different categories you know there's just the one who just don't want to talk to me about it the one is just very awkward they're just kind of giving me the awkward handshake and then there's one who just you know they're giving the full support and once i got this walk on the go i was week, week before um, this walk and those three groups turned to one. I began full support in Lloyd Minster, and it's really unbelievable when we come together in Lloyd. We really stand together and we're really hard to break, you know, apart. So it's been right. really good. And uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward, you know, to see what my next year is going to look like. Hey, well, you know what? Next year, um, you you got to you got to invite me to come out and walk. Uh, I'm not I'm not going all. Uh, I'm not going the whole distance with you, but I'll go, I don't know, 100 meters for sure. But I will keep you highly entertained during those 100 meters. Well, you better come. You better bring me some, uh, you know, some gear, and I'll give you some let's talk to talk gear then. Yeah, you know what? Um, like when uh, when I mentioned this to Casey, um, say hi to Casey. Hey. Hi, Casey. I, she said, well, we should have sent him gear. And uh, my point was, I didn't. obviously, I didn't know about this. But just so you know, I, I know that Tyson Williams, um, who introduced me to you, came out and walked with you for a bit. Um, I, I went to Saskatchewan, north of Prince Albert, to a place called Spruce Home for his wedding. So I'm not opposed to making a road trip. Uh, and uh, I'm not wearing a suit for you, though, as I did for him. Uh, so tell me how you're doing. Men he mental health wise, I mean, you've been through hell. I, I, you know, I did the math as you were talking about it. You said that, you know, that you've been suffering for three or four years. And the last year you, on top of the pile of your mental health challenges, you have losing your father to deal with. Yes. Um, those three or four years, I struggled. I really closed off all doors. I just hung out with my parents' basement. Uh, bitter with the world as everyone else's fault, and that's why, you know, blame everyone else why I'm in the position I was. And then, hey, hey, Paul, I told you, Paul, when you're telling your story, don't bark. I told you don't do it, but apparently you couldn't listen to the only rule I put on you. I'm sorry, Wrigley is, uh, Wrigley wants to take part in this. He's a six-month-old golden doodle, and he's cute as hell, but um, he doesn't know when his camera time is, uh, is, is, is when it's his time. So, so uh, you know, having gone through all of that, where are you at right now with your mental health? How are you doing? Are you coping? Are you okay? I am really, I am, I, I'm okay. Like, you know, during the walk, I 
I'll be 100% honest with you, I was a pregnant woman. I had a bunch of emotions. I was very happy and then very sad, and then I was just kind of like not sure where I was. And then, and then there's other days where I was just pumped and I was motivated. I just wanted to get this walk done. And then there's some days where I was just wasn't sure if I was doing the right thing. And then once I met Tyson and he passed my name to you, and then my hero was supporting Lloyd, it, uh, it really brought up my spirits. And I honestly haven't really uh, felt any anxiety or, or depression since then. So um, to answer your question, I'm doing really well. And I'm actually really happy with myself. I had a hard time looking myself in the mirror. And today I can say I would love to see the person I see in the mirror now. You know what, we're, uh, I mean, I, 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 just, I just met you earlier, uh, or yesterday, I guess, for uh, all intents and purposes. And, uh, hey, Riggs, one more sec, okay? I got to say goodbye to Paul. Um, you know, I, I, I hardly know you, but I'm really proud of you and uh, what you've done. And uh, I look forward to helping you spread the word, which is, you know, mental illness, depression, anxiety, and suicide. If we hide from them, then we bring them upon ourselves. So uh, thanks for doing this, man. Exactly. No, thank you for having me. It means a lot. I, uh, like I said, my goal was to meet you before I started this, and my goal is <laughs> to it. And you know what my next goal is? I want to meet Dwayne Rock Johnson. I want to challenge him, so I hope I can meet him one day. Yeah, well, you know, I, it, like, it, let, let's just put it this way. If, you're, if you had two goals, meet Landsberg and meet The Rock, uh, I think you can tick off the easier one off that list. But uh, this is, yeah. <laughs> This is uh, the Daily Lance blog. Uh, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. I'm gonna talk really fast. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta see the dog. So when you watch this, you'll be able to see Wrigley, who is currently eating the wicker chair. So, um, yeah, uh, thanks, man.